meteorologist Zoe Mint. So Zoe, we've been talking all morning about the fires, of course, and this wind that caused these fires. But you're saying that we're about to see uh, that wind go away, right? It's about to calm down, not go away completely. Oh, oh. It can never we can go hope, away. Right? We can yeah. hope, yes. But <laughs> instead of those 50 to 60 miles an hour like we saw yesterday, we down about 20 to 30 throughout the early morning hours. So yeah, we can handle that. It's still not great for fire, and especially mixed with those very dry conditions. It's the reason that we do have the red flag warning in effect throughout this afternoon, even though it's not going to be as windy today as what we felt yesterday. Early this morning, it's quiet, it's calm. It's a beautiful start to our day. With barely any clouds out there, open up your windows, take an early morning walk, just soak in a beautiful start to our morning. While it's still quiet and cool, Santa Rosa upper 40s along with many of our North Bay communities, San Francisco upper 50s, and we're looking at 50s basically all across the board in the Bay Area, other than across the North Bay and closer to the coast where you're in the 40s. But either way, the sunrise this morning, oh my goodness, I wish we could just sit and look at all the cameras around the Bay Area because basically every single one is showing a beautiful beautiful view and if you want to head out this afternoon get out and out there and maybe go to the Half Moon Bay and Art Fest Art and Pumpkin Festival. It's going to be gorgeous out there. See those big old pumpkins. They are huge. It might be a little bit chilly and a bit breezier closer to the coast. Temperatures in the upper 60s this weekend all across our coastal communities with a lot of sunshine, barely any of that cloud coverage, especially today and even into tomorrow afternoon. We are expecting our temperatures again early this morning, nice, quiet and calm, and they'll be warming up this afternoon to seasonable. Without the uh, winds this afternoon, being nearly as strong. It's the reason that a red flag warning will finally be expiring by 5 p.m. today. Still no outdoor burning up until then. Any outdoor plans you have, make sure you don't have any electrical activity that might accidentally cause a spark because you don't want to be one of those people that accidentally causes a wildfire because it very quickly will spread on a day like today. This afternoon, you might see a little bit of fog close to the marine layer around our coastal communities, but it's really not going to be anything too impressive. It's not until overnight tonight that a bit more of that marine layer will return by tomorrow afternoon, potentially even a few upper level clouds as that marine layer holds tight to our coastal communities through your Sunday. So a lot of changes are on the way as that wind comes from that northerly direction and changes into that offshore direction. Still going to be seeing these above average temperatures throughout the day today, but maybe a degree above average and nothing too crazy. And that's great news because we don't like fire danger combined with the heat. We'll take the heat off the table. That is good news as well. Again, northerly winds, the reason that we do have that fire potential today as high pressure scooches closer to the west coast. We'll be seeing those above average temperatures through tomorrow, but that westerly wind will persist by early next week. A lot more cloud coverage and a lot more fog is going to arrive. And over the next seven days, we have a lot of changes on the way. It's very interesting to actually see kind of a roller coaster when it comes to our temperatures. We'll be slightly above average closer to the coast today and into tomorrow, even with a bit more cloud coverage tomorrow and then getting back to slightly cooler by Monday and into Tuesday. Tuesday and then right back to above average by Wednesday. And the interesting thing is late next week, you notice that cloud icon for the coast. You'll also notice the cloud icon for our Bay Area communities, and you'll also notice it for places in our inland areas. That's because rain is going to be returning in our long range forecast by the end of October. Great news, especially for our inland locations that have to deal with more of that fire danger today. Back to you.